I've had many teachers that have influenced me, as, as, as probably most scientists have. Um, but I wanted to single out um, Jerome Brunner. Um, I, I knew Jerry um, when I was a graduate student um, in Oxford. Uh, I guess this would be in the, in the second half of the 70s. And every, every advisor has their own style with, with students. Jerry's style basically was to meet with you every so often and to ask you what was on your mind, what you had in your mind, what mental furniture you had. I think that was his phrase. And, um, and I think the thing that I got from Jerry, apart from uh, reinforcing my interest in, in very early cognitive development, babies and, uh, and preschoolers, I think I got from Jerry was um, to go for, to aim for a philosophically ambitious psychology. And so he was always encouraging me to, to um, read philosophy and, um, and indeed to work with philosophers. And I, and I did. I worked with, I worked with um, Anthony Kenny. Um, who um, is a well-known Oxford philosopher. Um, and so that was really the main thing I would um, um, blame Jerry for, uh, was um, encouraging me to think in that kind of way. And, um, and I guess the other thing um, is that um, he's sort of pushed me also into the directions of the particular topics that I have spent my life um, researching, which have to do with communication, um, have to do with um, what infants and very young kids prior to education, before we start to educate kids in a formal way, what it is that they bring to the world that allows them to be a part of the social world and therefore to be educated by, by uh, grown-ups. So uh, that interest in how we try to influence each other's behavior and how we go about being effective in that way, which is a peculiarly human way, um, which is based on understanding the thoughts and the feelings and the goals that other people have. So these kind of two influences in my life, life life's work, um, really I think can, uh, can be um, related to Jerome Brunner.